traditional native sport in the Philippines that predates Spanish rule. The game is associated with CPAC, TACRA. The game is played by two teams, either indoors or outdoors, on a court roughly the size of a tennis court. Each team consists of one, two, or four players. The goal of the game is to kick a soft ball made of rotten fragments back and forth across a net in the center of the court. The sport necessitates quickness, agility, and ball control. Langat Lupa is a chasing game in which players can avoid being tagged if they stand on an elevated surface. The game requires at least three players to form a circle. One player points to each player in turn, chanting the Langat Lupa song and pointing to the player next to the one he just pointed to with each syllable of the chant. It is whoever the chanter is pointing at at the end of the chant. It then chases after the other players, attempting to tag them. Whoever is tagged becomes the it. This game is typically played by boys during a town fiesta or on special occasions. After polishing and lubricating the bamboo poles, a small bag containing the prize is tied to the top. The bag is usually filled with money, candy, or toys. In some cases, a small flag is used instead of the actual prize, which is later awarded to the winner. This game is typically played by boys during a town fiesta or on special occasions throughout the Philippines. In English, this is known as taking bases. Members are divided into two groups based on the number of colleagues. At that point, there are two bases. One person will be assigned to protect the base. The diversion question is for one group to attempt to catch the other's base by achieving the other's home base. Others may leave the base to run and attempt to capture other members of the opposing group or to take the rival's base. The two teams now play a rock-paper-scissors game to determine the first hitters. Whoever wins becomes the first batter. They take up position behind the furrow or at the bottom, while the fetchers take up positions a few meters away from the base. The first player for the hitters now begins the game's first level. Actually, there are no set rules for shotong playtime. Players always change the rules and experiment with different variations just for fun. However, both teams agree on when the game should be called. Sunka is a turn-based strategy game. However, the rules of Sunka are unique in that the first turn for each player is taken at the same time, giving the game a real-time feel. Some players try to gain an advantage by delaying their start in order to react to their opponent's first move, which is perfectly legal under the rules of the game. The goal of the game is to collect as many shells as possible and place them in your Yulo head. <laughs> 